The situation in local hospitals continues to worsen, especially in relation to the capacity of intensive care units. Many hospitals are now overcrowded with patients, with the new norm being waiting for patients to recover or succumb in order to free space for other patients in line. In Nairobi County, all 86 ICU beds in Kenyatta National Referral Hospitals are occupied, with patients taken in while in critical condition forced to seek alternative treatment. The situation is not so good either in Nairobi Hospital. Despite the deposit of the hospital's ICU unit admission being quite expensive, a cost which increases exponentially depending on the length of a patient's stay in the hospital. Kenyatta University Teaching Referral and Research Hospital, despite being repeatedly praised for having a large bed capacity and state-of-the-art medical equipment, has also found itself overwhelmed by the current state of affairs in the country. In order to be admitted at its ICU unit, a patient is needed to pay a pocket-draining deposit of 200,000 Kenya shillings, but here too, the beds are fully occupied. M. Pisha Hospital, representing private hospitals in the country's capital, despite its low ICU bed capacity and high deposit prices, is already fully occupied, a representation of the dire state in the health system. Hope now lies in Nairobi West Hospital, which has only 23 beds left in its ICU unit as exactly half of its capacity has already been occupied. In the meantime, the second shipment of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine might take longer to arrive in the country due to the temporary suspension of its export in the country's only source, India. It is alleged that many countries will be affected by the temporary move. In a statement released by UNICEF earlier today, and I quote, We understand that deliveries of COVID-19 vaccines to lower-income economies participating in the COVAX facility will likely face delays following a setback in securing export licenses for further doses of COVID-19 vaccines produced by the Serum Institute of India, expected to be shipped in March and April. At the moment, however, the immunization exercise is ongoing in the country, but not at the expected rate due to safety fears among citizens. However, as the government continues to outline the vaccine safety, persons aged 58 and above have been included in the list of target persons in the first phase due to the ease of infection at that stage. Ben Kerera K24, Evening Edition.